Give me uh, four lines, please. A line here, a line there, a line there, and a line there. Just want to go with our closeouts. Come a little bit closer in. Come a little bit closer. Come a little bit closer. Hello. Hey, really need you to listen. listen. Listen and focus. I know there's a lot of noise stuff going on, so please, when I'm talking, look at me. Please understand what I'm asking you to do. If you hear a word you haven't heard before or what's he talking about, you've got to ask. But I want to be able to transfer what I'm asking you to do on the floor. Move a bit further down. Move a bit into the middle. Yep, move it to the So I want to just look at your closeouts first off. So imagine you're closing out to the top of the, the, the three-point line. You start on the, the side of the key. You guys come in closer. You're coming in. You're coming in. You're closing out to the, to the wing. You're closing out to the elbow area. You're closing out to the elbow area and you're closing out to the 45. Why don't you just go one time each, show me your closeout. Do you understand what I'm asking you to do? Yes? Not a flyby, but a closeout where you're getting from there to there as fast as you can. You're pressuring the ball, and you're able to contain the first step. Any questions? When I blow the whistle, as a four, go. Yes? Ready? Go. Good. Off the floor. Go. Get out of the way. Good. Go. Go. Scotty, you got four balls. Is there four balls you can put on the floor? Okay, give me four balls, please. I'll put four balls in the spots. Yep. One more. Yep. Start right in the elbow. Not bad. Go again. Ready? Go. 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 Okay. Stop, stop, stop. Hey, it's pretty good. Your challenge is to close out as fast as you can, bring your arms up, and then jump back to a ball on the hand pressure on the ball. So you're doing that patter steps, which is quite good. You gotta go from here to here faster. So faster without going too far forward that you're charging past. You want to close out with the hand, but so I don't blow past you. Does that make sense? So let's see how you go. I want you to start here. Close out there as fast as you can. Get your toes to this. What color line is this? Blue? Blue? I can't color blind. I can't tell. Get your toes to that blue line and then jump back with hand pressure. Do you understand? Ready? Get in the stance. Get down low. Patter. On the whistle, go. Go. Faster. Faster. Jump back. Not bad. A little bit too far away in the jump back, but I don't mind that. So really go fast, jump back, and then have a hand pressure on the ball. Do you understand? Yell out, bubble, bubble, a couple of times. Patter, patter first. Get your ass lower. Patter, patter first. Are you feeling okay, son? You sure? You sure? If I'm talking two or three times and you're not paying attention. If you're not feeling well, please sit out. You sure? Well, come on, switch on. Down in the stance. Hands, go. You gotta move faster, son. Off, go. Good, go. Good, go. Okay, come in, come in. Hey, it's good, but it's not great. You're not going fast enough from there to there. It's a little bit slow. You gotta give it everything here right now. You, you switched on? Because I blew the whistle and you're still standing. Come on, son. You've got to do better than that. Hey, it's okay. You've got to move faster. Yep. I want you to yell out, bubble, bubble, and have a hand. It's not bad. This time, after you slide and close out, I want you to go from here to one slide to the right, and then hop off. Do you understand? So we go from close out to hand to slide. Do we understand? Please say yes. Please say no. You right? Ready? Go. Good. Go. Go. Hold up. Hold up. Okay. It's pretty good. I want a distinct. This. If. if. if he closes out. Yep. Come here. Get your hands out wide. 
What pressure is there on the ball right now? Zero pressure. Why is that? So come in. You post up. Everyone come over here. Everyone come over here. Hello. Go on the post. Come. No, no, you come in. So you're closing out. You're jumping back. Hands are down. What pressure is there on the ball? So get your hands down low. Get nuts. Hands out wide. Can I shoot the ball on this? Yeah. Can I feed a post on this? Yeah. Can I feed a cutter on this? Yes. So now there's zero pressure on the ball. So you must have one hand above the ball. Now, it might be different from what the coaches are telling you, and that's okay. But to me, when I watch games, the first thing I look for is their hand pressure on the ball. Is this guy, put your hand above the ball. Is this guy, what, just one hand, just like that. Is this guy making it a little bit more uncomfortable for me to make that pass? Yes, he is. Can I feed that cutter on a flex cut? I'm not too comfortable with that. So I'm slightly uncomfortable. If there's no hand pressure on the ball, then I can do whatever I want. So the closing out's good, but there's no pressure on the ball. So now when you close out, I want here, you're the ball. Watch out. So I want, I can only go slow because I'm old and I can't move very well. So I'm closing out as fast as I can, and I'm doing this, and I'm here, and I'm here. And my hand's there. And I'm making it uncomfortable for him. So I want a real focus now after you close the out, which you're doing actually quite well. Getting one hand above the ball, and then going like this with our hands. Here, down, and slide. Two slides. My hand comes here, and I swing and I slide. Does that make sense? It's called a ninja slide. So now I'm going to do work on ninja slides. Give me a straight line along here now. Let's go. Give me a straight line along here now. Boys, come in. Boys. I'm going to ask you to move. I want you to real hustle. I want you to hustle your ass off. Imagine this is being sent around the world, and you're the demo group. Yeah? So give me a straight line along here. Let's go. No balls. Face this way. Move down, in the middle. Move down, move down, move down. Bit more spacing. We're going to do ninja slides here. So now you've done your close out. Now you've done your close out. Now you've got to, you've got to cover the first step. The guy's going for the drive. Now you've got to cover that. So we're going to go slow mo. Bit more space. So you're going to have a patter, patter, patter with one hand. Let's say it's your right hand. You're going to come down and swing and slide. Go back. Let's go slow. Right hand up, down, swing, leap. One, two. Make sense? Go back. Go slower. Watch me. So it's here, it's down. Both hands, swing and leap. One, two. The ninja, jumping like a ninja. Flapping our arms. <laughs> you understand what we're trying to do? The reason why it's important to have our arms, why is it? Come in. Give me the ball. Why is it important to have our arms out when you're covering that first step when we have to defend one on one? You need to know why. Okay, so I'm covering you, all right? You dribble, if my arm's here, what's that? Drive, drive into me, drive into me. Let's foul. Automatic, and referees we're finding more and more, we are going to go, bang, foul. So when he's here, and you drive, my hands, look ref, no fouls. No fouls, I can bang him with my chest, I can keep him in front of me, but I'm not going to foul. Plus the idea of a leap, this gives you a bit of a swing and a leap. Looks a bit strange, but it works really well. So we are going to slide, we're going to patter, patter, patter. We're going to go on the whistle, we're going to do ninja, do two slides. Stop, come back, change hands, go this way. Do you understand what I'm trying to ask you to do? Out, patter, reset. Patter, slide, go that way. Move that ball out of the way. Get your ass down. Get your ass down. Get your ass down. One hand in front. One hand, patter. Go. Okay, go back. It's not here. It's down, swing, leap, and slide. Let's go slower. Get the idea of it slower. Slow, slow. Down, together, swing, 
out slide. It's only one like that, it's not two. So you do one to get out there, and then you have your hands out. It's not two sort of, not two flapperoo moves, it's kind of one. It's one, and then out, and out. Yeah? Go slow again. Down low. Ready? Down, one, two. Yeah, good. Much better. Much better. Do we all have it? We got it? Okay. It's a leap with your right leg. So it's here, leap as far as you can, and your left leg comes in a little bit. It's not this short, big. It's large, small. So we're going to go slow again. We've got our arms good. Now we're going to work on our feet. Can you hear me at the back? You can? Okay. Down low. Get a hand in front now. Give me that hand in front. Go slow. Large, small, small. That's good. Yeah, yeah. All right. You can fix your shoe. We'll go without you. Is that all right? Can we go without you? Okay. Hey, stance and hand first off. Get that hand up. We're going live now. We're going live. On the whistle. Yeah, very good. Come back. No, no, just walk back. Go this way. I don't care what hands you have. Do you want to go slow or fast? Anyone want to go slow? It's okay if you want to go slow. Go slow once. Leap, small, small. Try to avoid going up and down. Yeah, not bad. You see how far you can leap. Try and get to about two meters from the side of the key. Two and a half meters. No, no, no. Yes, you can. Ready? Down low. Give me the hand up. Give me the right hand up. On the whistle. Very good. Very good. So now back to the baseline now. Get those balls out. Reset the balls. Hustle. Go. Reset the balls. Reset the balls. Give me those four balls. Let's go. Ball here. Ball there. <coughs> Give me three lines now, not four. Give me three. I want all three guys in the circle now. So when you come in, you're standing here. When you come in, you're standing there. You're going to do the closeouts, hands, slide, slide to the right, get off and around the outside and change lines. Do you understand? Do it one thing at a time. How hard can you close out, jump back with poor pressure? Once you've got that, then go to the slide. Yep. I want to see the ninja slide added in on your first step. Do you understand? Are there any questions? Don't think of the ninja slides, think of your stance. Think one little bit at a time. Don't go ahead of yourself. Are we okay? Any questions? Stance. Patter. Make sure you got that hand up on the ball. Give me that hand. Go! Ninja. Get out of the way. Go! Ninja! Ninja! Swing it! Go! Go! We're all closing out. What does that mean on handball pressure? How much pressure is there when the hands are wide? Zero. So now you're working really hard, and now there's no defense. So you've got to have some hand. Imagine there's a guy with the ball, because shortly we're going to be going one-on-one. -on -one. This leads into our one-on-one -on -one stuff. And I'm saying, when you close out, you've got to have a hand above the ball, otherwise you shoot the ball in their face. Each team, you might find one player who's going to be an unbelievable shooter. Coach says we can't give them the shot. And if you close out with hands down, I'm telling that player to shoot the ball. Yes? 
One step at a time. Hard close out, hand pressure on the ball. 30% of you didn't do ninjas, or 50%. So it's here, slide and slide. I know this is new, but we've got to get our mind switched on. Yes? Yes? Ready? Stance. There's no hand pressure. Still no hand pressure. You're going to the ninja part without giving me the hand pressure. So I want close out, close out, close out, jump back, hand pressure, then ninja. You're going close out to, to, to ninja with no hand pressure. We're assuming the guy's making a dribble when we go to the ninja. He might just shoot it in your face. One step at a time. Close out as hard as you can. Get to an on-ball stance. A couple of seconds. Once you've got the on-ball stance, please look at me. Once you've got the on-ball stance with the hand, then go to the ninja. So now I'm going to blow the whistle twice. Whistle to start, whistle to go ninja. We're going to hold it there for a second. Are we okay? Ninjaing to the right. Ninjaing to the right, not the left. Stance. There are two whistles. I'm going to blow a whistle once, you go to close out. Then you're going to hold it there with the hand pressure. Then by the whistle a second time, you go to ninja. Do we understand? Yeah. Come on. Stance, stance. Hand pressure, hand pressure. Hand above the ball, hand above the ball. One hand. Go. Good, yes, very good. Go. Hand pressure, hand pressure, go. Good. So on that whistle, I send them off, the next guys go. On the whistle, I do the ninjas, the next guys go. Yes? Make sure you change spots. Stance. Go. Go. Good. One hand above the ball. One hand above the ball. Go. Come further up. Too far out. Come further up. Come further up. Go. I can flash it like you hit. Go! Where's the ball? Where's the ball? Go! Hand above the ball. Hand above the ball. Hand above the ball. Go! Go! Hey, really good. Excellent. Good job. So it kind of makes sense to you now. The key part athletes make when they're learning new stuff is if four parts to it, they're thinking of part four, not part one. What's part one to this? No. How low are you in a stance? How low are you loaded up in a stance with awareness of what's going on? That's the stage one. If you're in split line and you're a dummy, you're not aware, you're moving too slow. You're not aware of where your man is, you're not aware of what you should be doing, you're not aware of he's a shooter or a closeout guy. So it's the stance and awareness of where am I, what should I be doing? And anticipation, if it comes to this guy, I've got him covered. I know what he's doing. So that's stage one. What's stage two? The closeout. Closing out, but with, with the jump back with hand above the ball, rather than the closeout where you're going so close, it's a blow by. So as a coach, we make the decision, do we give up a three point shot? We're giving up the layup. Then they do both, I suppose. But if you're up so close on a closeout, that I can just blow straight past you, you're giving up a layup, now we're into rotations. We're going to show you rotations, but ideally, we don't want to get there. We don't want to have to rotate, because you can take care of your man one-on-one. -on -one. message I gave you at the start was the idea of a real sense of responsibility of taking care of the ball, and you being able to hit the ball in front of you with a real sense of pride. And if you do that, our, your, whole, your team defense is 90% better. If you're a blow-by guy and you can't defend anyone and it's always getting past you, you're a liability to our team defensive philosophy, whether it's gap, whether it's deny, whether it's whatever it is. Does that make sense to you? Get a quick drink. You guys are working well. You focus now. Good job.
Hey, no shots. Hey, bring it in. I need two lines. I need two lines. I need an offensive player here, an offensive player there, a defender there. You need a ball, yeah. I need a line of guys there. I need a line of guys here. I need it. Can you play defense, please? Put the ball down. I need you to stand here. Come in. Come in. You guys stay. I'm going to do a two on two rotation drill, which is the first and most important. We haven't got time to do the one on one stuff, so I'm slightly going behind. We kind of cover a little bit of it or a fair bit of it with regards to the hand and the ninja stuff. It's kind of 80% of the one-on-one -on -one stuff. If you can close the out with the hand and cover the first dribble, you're now defending really well. But we need to kind of move ahead a little bit. When we do our four-on-four four shell, this is the first drill I do at all age groups. Senior level, juniors, beginners, this is the first drill. Now, what I might show you might be different. Scott or the other coaches may have a rule where one pass away, you're in a denial stance. And that's okay. I'm going to show you how I teach it and how I do it. Um, and I think hopefully you can still take something out of it in terms of your two passes away, this is what you might do. But for our purposes, we're doing one pass away, where should the help defender be? And how do I get there? That's what this drill is. It's called two-on-two -two rotation drill. So the first part is this. We've done our one-on-one -on -one closeouts over there, and now this guy's got to defend three stances. So I caught the ball. He's defending the pass. He's defending the drive. Jump back, jump back a little bit, ninja slide. He's defending the shot, hand above the ball. See how his hands are out wide? I can shoot over his face now. So come back. So I give him the ball. Hand above the ball. What's he going to do? Drive. Pass, high pass. I covered that, and I've covered the shot. He's going to defend three stances. Once he's done that, once he's done three moves, one, two, three, he's going to pass the ball to the next guy. He can do the same. But the key is this guy. So watch out. He's done his three stances, his three things. Yes? Can you hold the ball and just move it in the air like it's being passed? Do you understand? Take the ball. Take the ball. Put it in your hand. And just walk the ball across. When I say. Imagine it's being passed, but you're the, you're the mailman. You're delivering the ball. I have to do this slow because I'm really slow and old. This is what I'm looking for. This is the key focus here. Is this. As it comes out of his hands, this, look at me, that action there. So I'm going to turn and go one to short close out to my spot, get there, patter, patter, patter. That's, that's the way I want you to do it. If you do this, slide, slide, you won't be there. He's going to get blown past. Now the bigs are in foul trouble because you're sliding. So it's a turn and sprint. It's here, drop, turn. Make sense? Yes, no? Let's see how he goes. Let's watch his feet. Is he a turn sprint? Is he a slide? I'm guessing 80% chance he's going to be a slider. Let's watch it. Three stances first. Good. Pass. What do you do? He slid. He slid slower than me, and I'm in slow motion. I'm an old man with two bad knees and a bad back. Don't, don't copy me being slow motion, son. Go, go real lightning speed. Okay. All right? You made me look good then. Holy cow. Did he slide? Yes, come on. You got to turn and sprint. Go. What was that, you reckon? 50-50. That's kind of it. But he came out of his stance and he was pretty high. Who can do this really well? I reckon you could. Out. You're in. Why can he do it better? How is being smaller better? Why is he faster? He's got a lower center of gravity. He's lower down on the ground, more power. So if you get lower, you can be faster than him. Three, three hand, push, hand push on the ball. Three stances. Three stances. Good. Pass. What did he do? He slid. So we're going to turn and sprint. So give me a line, please. Give me a line. Let's line up. Everyone line up. Line up. Line up, line up. It's kind of like ninja, but we're going to practice it. So line it, spread out. Move right back. 
So we're going to be patter, patter, patter. We're going to be patter, patter, patter. Turn, drop, one, two, patter, patter, patter. But you're going to turn and drop. So go slow. Down low, down low. Turn, drop, sprint, go. One, two, patter, patter. Just two steps. Two steps, patter, patter. Go back. So the first move you're after is this, that, then patter. Yes? Ready? Go! Too fast, go slow. Let's go super slow, super slow. One eighth speed, no patter of feet. Just go down low, a bit more slower. Right, drop your ass, turn, hands ready. Wait, wait. Get down low. Big first step. Big second step. Open up. Patter, patter, patter. Hands. Go back. So the first thing is drop right down. Second thing is spin. Third thing, first step. Fourth thing, second step. Fifth thing, open and patter. And, and actually play split. There's no hand above the ball because you're on split line. My bad. So it's like, help right, help left, help right, help left. Yes? Slow again. Patter, patter, patter. Drop, spin, step, one, two, hands. Help right, help left, help right, help left. Talk, talk, talk. Help right, help left, help right, help left. Talk, talk, talk. Hands, hands. Good, come back. Let's go to the left. Down low, down low. We're going slow. Drop, spin hips. Power first step, power second step. Open, hands, patter, talk, 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 talk. Drop your hips, drop your hips, talk. Okay, we're going right, patter. Jog back, left, patter, come back at speed. Are we okay? Right first. So we're doing patter, two steps, open up, walk back, reset, patter, whistle, go left, two steps, we stop. Are we okay? Can you guys hear me? Patter. Know what to do now you know what to do let's go reset the drill get a ball five four three two one three stances who's here good pass the ball sprint good hand pressure talk 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 sprint now this is the key come back timing of movement come and get the ball and hold the ball move what's your name jack did this the ball moved move it and then he moved. It's too late. So as soon as the ball's in the air and it's leaving, you gotta move. So on the catch of that guy, you're there. If you're late by half a second, blow by. Yes? Go again. Three stances. Sprint. Move. Good. Come on, Jack. Come on, Jack. What a Jack slide or sprint? He slide. Off, rotate, defense out, O to D. Next two, ready, go. Pass, sprint. Too slow. He caught the ball, he was here. It's a layup. It's a fifth foul in the big. Come on, son. This is hard work. You gotta move your ass. Go, good, better. Good, hand above the ball, sprint. He slid, do it again. Hey, it's new with new habits, it's hard. You gotta turn and sprint. Now the ball's over there. You gotta turn and sprint, son. Come on now. 
Pass. Sprint. Yes. Pass. Sprint. Off. Good. Next two. Go. Five, four, three, two, one. Go. Hand above the ball. Hand. 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 Sprint. Good. Hand. Hand. You guys talk to him as well. Encourage him. You guys talk to him. Encourage him. Hello. Very good. Off. Next two. Set. Hand above the ball. Hand above the ball. Go. Good. Sprint. Too slow. Did you see how he's too slow? Because he's watched, he watched the ball. He watched the ball. He watched the ball, then he was slow. Go again. You're the fastest kid here, I'm assuming. But that was too slow. This is hard. You'll do it well. Go. Good. Hand above the ball. Hand above the ball. Sprint. Good. Pass. Nice. Right tight. Good job. Pass. Sprint. Hand above the ball. Hand above the ball. Too slow. He caught it and you're out there. Do it again. Hey, you guys in the back, talk to him, encourage him. You guys who just joined in, wait a second. When you just join in, good. Hand him by the ball, hand him by the ball. Right side. You came too far over. <laughs> Don't worry about it, it's all right. Stance, stance, stance. Go. Jump in if you want. We're doing the two on two closeouts. The main thing is, I love your smile. It's a beautiful smile. But we're just sliding and smiling, sliding and smiling. It's a lovely smile. They give me turn and sprint and smile. Yeah, come back. Hey, <laughs> hey. So we're doing turn and sprints in, in a that, that short distance. If we slide, it's, it's to do it again. Hey, we're over here, smiling. Hey, smiling's on defense here. Give me the ball. Hand above the ball. One hand. One hand. Drop your hips. Show me that turn and sprint. He's enjoying his basketball. Beautiful thing to see. Here we go. Come on, come on, pass. That's even slower than the last time. Give me something to smile about. You smile, I'll smile. Go again, here. See how he's cruising? What's your name, son? Liam. Come on, Liam. Give me his hardest sprint as you've ever done in your life. Can you do that? Yeah. Come on. Hand about the ball. Help right, help left. Help right, help left. Pass. Oh, yeah. Off. Well done. I like it. Hey, give him some love there. Hey, give him some love. Where should you be? Over here, son. Hands go. Pass. Do you know why I blew the whistle? Do you know why I blew the whistle? Pass him the ball. You were still here when the ball's here. What could he do? Anything he wants. So as soon as the ball leaves, you're leaving. Okay. Go again. Hey, take us some time here. We're a bit slow. But we can't do the next drill if we don't get this one right. Yes? Where's your stance, son? Give me your hands. Help right, help left. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hand, hand, hand. Keep going. Yes. Keep pass. 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 Read. Oh. Hey, a lot of you guys are out watching. I know we're not active, but you've got to learn from this. You've got to go faster. We can't do the next drill if you don't do this drill well. So I know you're getting a bit bored here watching this, but we've got to do this well. Come on, come back. Ball over here. Ball over here. Last one, we're going to go four and four. Hand about the ball. Give me everything you've got. As fast as you can from there to there. Yes? Ready? Hand press. Pass. Well done. Great job. Hey, let's go. Let's give me, uh, give me, uh, can you organize four lights and four darks, please? Yes. No. How many, how many? Give me six lights and balance them out. Six lights and six darks. How many are here? How many guys are here? We've got 12. Give me three teams. Three teams of four. Can we do that? We've got 12. Hey, give me three groups. Can we go skins? No, I only want three teams. Give me some subs, maybe. You're organising the three teams. Organise it. Oi, two of you come over here. Two of you come over here. You guys are all big. I want a mixture of guards and bigs, boys. You got all guards here. And him. What are you guys? What colours? Someone go skins here. Someone go something. Figure it out. Come on, boys. Show us the guns, boys. Are you okay to be in skins or not? It's on video. If you're not comfortable, don't do it. 
No, seriously, you don't have to be in skins if you don't want. Put your shirt on. No, no, no. You get on video. If you don't want, I'm not going to force you. Put your shirts on. Don't worry about it. Hey, what we'll do is the big sewer out to goose. The big sewer out to stay out and watch. The guys who are here stay on the floor. We'll just go with that, okay? Give me two groups of the guys who are on the floor. Give me two groups. You guys who are here, just stay here and watch. We'll try and get you in as well. Give me four guys on the outside, four guys on the inside. Hello. Two guards, two wings. I need four darks, match up. Four darks, match up. No, yes. Four darks, four lights. I want a dark guy here. Hello. Someone on him. Hello. Someone on him. Someone here. Someone there. You guys stand behind. So, come in. Now, we're doing the same thing in a four on four context. So I'm going to pass the ball to the spot and you're going to jump and move to the next spot. You guys move back. Go to where you are. So we'll go slow first off. So one pass away. I want you in a split off help position. Yes. This is the same as the two on two drill right here. So now you're here. Now you're somewhere in the split line. Coaches call. I'm saying somewhere down here. We're all communicating. As the ball moves, you've got to turn and sprint to your next spot. So you would turn and sprint to the basket. You would turn and sprint to the here. You would turn and sprint to the elbow. You would come to the ball further back. As the ball moves, turn and sprint to your spot. As the ball moves, turn and sprint to your spot. As the ball moves, turn and sprint to your spot. You're underneath the basket. As the ball's caught. Right, turn and sprint. Go. Turn and sprint. Go. Turn and sprint. Go. Okay, change over. You, you guys are coming in. Give me four darks. Let's go. Four darks. Hello, four darks here. Spread out. Any dark. Go over there. Same thing for you guys. Hand above the ball. Hand above the ball. You've got basket. Turn and sprint. Go. You're there. You're there. Turn and sprint, go. Talk, talk. Turn and sprint, go. Turn and sprint, go. Turn and sprint, go. Turn and sprint, go. So, come in. Come in. You're doing well. Now, I'm breaking it down slow. When I watch my team and I watch games, I go slow motion and watch this. Are we in the spots on the catch? Are we, are we in our positions and responsibilities when the guys caught the ball? If we do that, we have an integrity of our shell. Our defensive layer is not compromised. If one person's late, our shell is not, doesn't have integrity, there's a gap, we can be broken, it can be attacked. That's why we're doing this slow. Does that make sense? Yeah. Any questions on this so far? I know it's kind of boring, but please really try and get into it. Yeah? Change over. New group coming in. If you're offense, go defense. Ball's here. Even though we're going slow, even though the ball's going slow, you've got to go as hard and fast as you can, which is much juice as you can. Yes? You're here. You're here. Get in the stance. Get in the stance. Come across. You, come across. You are two, pa you're, you're two passes away. You should be at some kind of split defense. One pass away, denial or gap. Coach's call. I'm gapping off. So I get past him, you're there. I'm going to pass it there. Not into the key. You guys are going 8 out of 10. Offense is going 4. But you guys keep bringing the juice. Yes? Hand above the ball. New guys coming in. New guys coming in. Got to have a hand above the ball. Yes? Stance. Stance. Talk. Talk. I'm passing the ball, sir. You're just looking good. Stance. Give me the ball. Go. You're going to move, son. You're watching him. Give me the ball. Pada, pada, pada. Go! Go! Move back. Move back. Go! You didn't move. Drop down. Here. Basket. Elbow. Stance. Talk. Talk. Go! 
That's your ball. You got to move. Come on, son. Stance. Talk. Go. Go. Move back. Move back. Pass. Go. Rotate. Rotate. Hand above the ball. Give me some juice. Gap off. Pass. Go. Turn and sprint. We're turning and sprinting. We're not sliding. You guys weren't here. That's all right. Bring it back. Bring it back. Quick, quick, quick. You gotta turn and sprint. Talk, talk, talk. Pass, sprint. Pass, sprint. Pass, sprint. Pass, sprint. Very good. Stop. Very good. Very good. Change over. Hey, on the catch. Look at me. When the ball is passed, give me the ball here. Get off. You're all doing this. Watch me. So I'm here. Pass the ball. I'm here, and then I'm like this. I have no vision of what he's doing, no vision who's coming in. So you've got to get to your spot, open up and see. Could be someone cutting in, could be a flash cutter. Have awareness, don't just watch the ball. 50-50, ball awareness players. If he drives, I can see it. He comes in, I can get him. Make sense? Hey, we're getting better. This is good, I like it. Hand pressure on the ball, hand pressure on the ball, pass. Look around you, look around you, feet, pass, look around you, awareness, talk, no one, stop, no one's talking, go back, you must say basket, you're the most important player, he's the quarterback of the whole defensive system, he can see, you can, you gotta keep what you say, say something, but the problem is if he says split, who knows who's doing what, you yell at basket, you're the terminator, you are the quarterback, basket, 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 Whole stadium knows who's got basket. My man. So I want basket talk here. If he doesn't hear you say basket, what's he going to do? Come in. This is really important. Stay where you are. If he, if he, who's defending the ball, doesn't hear him saying basket, 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 what is he going to do? He's going to shit his pants and go, well, I don't want to get blown past, so I'm going to gap off because there's no help for me. So I'm going to have no hand pressure on the ball. I'm going to gap right off. And now there's zero defense. But if he hears this guy saying basket, he hears the guy there saying help right, help right, he's like, hey, we're part of a team defensive unit. I can get some juice on the, on the ball now. And he got my back. Now there's pressure on the ball. Now he's got some confidence to get after this guy. As opposed to hearing nothing and going, I'm on an island by myself, so I might as well not get beat and make myself look good. Meanwhile, we've got no defense. Do you understand? Now, you know why it's so important? Yeah. Give me the juice. Give me the juice. Bring the juice, baby. Here, here you go, boy. Here. Is that as loud as you can give me? Is that as loud as you can give me? Well, come on. I said bring the juice. Don't bring the tomato juice. Bring the real juice. Come on. Ready, stance. Hand about the ball. Hand about the ball. Talk. Pass. Talk, talk, talk. Very good, change over. The two wing guys, you gotta bring the juice on the basket. The two wing guys, you gotta bring juice on basket. Hand about the ball. Pass, pass, pass. Pass. What's your name? Sam. Round of applause for Sam, please. Brought the juice. Good. Hand about the ball, hand about the ball. Look around you, look around you. Pass. Rotate, go, rotate. Okay, hey, doing well. Come in. Next, you guys stay. Next one's pass, basket cut and replace. What we did this thing was called position drill. How to get to our positions, be in the right spots, know what we're doing. Yes? This one's part, offense is going to pass the ball. Going to basket cut to the basket. You're going to replace it here. Come in, come in, come out, come out. Replace, replace. And you go through. You're going to reverse the ball. You're going to reverse the ball. You're going to reverse the ball. Same thing. Basket cut through. 
in and out, banana V cut, yada, yada, yada. Yes? That's the offense. Come back. Come back to the start. Just stay where you are. Stay where you are. Come here now. So now I'm going to show you how to defend that basket cutter. Please watch this. Get this wrong, I'm going to blow the whistle and say turnover. Watch, off, off, off. Get off the court. 70% of this now is the shell drill, normal stuff. I'm here, he passes it, don't move. I get to my spot. I'm ready to go. Now he's going to cut to the basket. I'm going to smash and bang and meet him. He must go behind me, not over me. He goes like this, I'm going to blow the whistle and say turnover. It's a layup. I must force him to go basket side. Come in, smash, go basket side. I can stay like this, I can head snap. It's up to you what you do. But you must get him go that side. You must see the ball and he can't go past you. He goes, does go past you, head snap, see the ball. Come back. I've got you guys rotate. I've covered my job. Come through. Bang, smash, stay, see the ball, see the ball, rotate. Then I stay here. He goes away, I stay here. I'm basket man. I don't go following him. This is a layup for him. Yes? Two things. Forcing basket side. When he goes past the split, let him go, take basket. If he gets in front of you, auto turnover. Yes? I don't care where he is because the ball's there now. I'm the quarterback. As the ball's passed, I shift out, shift out, shift out. Now I'm taking him. Now I'm taking him. Pass, jump across. Bang, smash. See the ball. See the ball. Rotate. Rotate. Pass the ball. Who's here? Who's on me? Sorry, that's you. I forgot that was me. So we're still doing our normal shell stuff, but we're basket cutting, replace, replace, stay at basket. Defense go fast, offense go slow. Split here, here, this way. Shell drill. Basket cut. Hit him. See the ball. See the ball. Follow your man. Jump across. Basket cut. Turnover. Got in front of you. Auto turnover. Rotate. O to D. D out. He can't cross your chest and get ball side. Where should you be? Where should you be? Pass, turn the sprint, basket cut. No, 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 if you pass there, basket cut. Jump of course, bang, hit him. Keep letting him through, see the ball rotate, rotate. Stay at basket, pass. Who's here, who's there, pass. Here, pass, basket cut. See the ball, hit him, rotate, see the ball, see the ball, rotate, pass, pass, pass. Basket cut, hit him, see the ball, rotate, rotate, pass, pass. Pass the cut, see the ball. Very good, you four, very good. Rotate. Hey, come in, come in. There's two speeds at this. The offense is going five or six out of 10, but the defense is staying the same speed as the offense. That's not what I want. We're going slow with the offense to give the defense a chance to understand it, but you gotta go 10 out of 10 effort. You're sprinting slow motion sprints, even though the game is going slow. That kind of makes sense. Offense, you're going 10 out of 10. Defense is going slower. But you still go turn and sprint. Not follow the same pace. You understand? Same O, same D. Go. Defense is faster. Defense is faster. Where should you be? Pass. Good. Pass and cut. Pass and cut. Hit him. Hit him. See the ball. Got in front of you. Turn over. Go. You can't get in front of your chest. You can't do it. Do whatever you can, not let him front your chest. Who's where? Basket, pass, 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 sprint, pass, sprint. Where should you be? Don't think of the basket cutting, think of pass and move. Ball's back. Hey, come in, stop, stop. When I'm talking to him, you guys listen to what I'm saying. So if you're him and you come in, you know what to do. It's called transference of learning. If you're talking to him about whatever's going on and you come in and do the same mistake, that's not good enough. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. You had a question? Yeah. Um, do I cut in uh, when I pass the ball to left? Are you on here? Yeah. As soon as you pass to the wing, yeah. pass the cutter. Let's go full pace. Both O and D. Hey, bring the juice, turn and sprint. Bring the juice, turn and sprint. Good. Pass the cut. See the ball. See the ball. Rotate. Pass. 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 Sprint. Pass. Hit him. 
Continue. He's seen the ball. Rotate. Rotate. Pass. 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 Him. Got in front of your chest. Turnover. Go. He can't front your chest. Hey, come in. Hey, come in. Get back to where it was. Give me, the, give me someone here. Give me I'm on D. First time you do this, you got to whack this guy as hard as you can. Where's the microphone? You got to whack him as hard as you can. If the referees don't call it a foul, happy days. It's Christmas, Christmas Day. Because you can bang every cutter as hard as you want now. And now, what happens to a cutter if I bang him every time? What's he going to do? I don't want to cut him there. I'm going to get hit. So he's going to cut three out of ten. He can avoid you. He's going to go, I don't want to be hit. Am I saying hit him hard and hurt him? No. Am I saying do something dirty? No. I'm saying hit him really hard with a genuine defensive stance where a bit of air comes out of his lungs and it makes him think about, holy cow, that's a minefield in there. I don't want to go in there. I don't want to go in there. I don't want to cut hard. And the first principle of great offense is cutting hard. If you don't cut hard, offense turns to rubbish. So it's pass the ball. I'm not going to hurt you. Jump here. He cuts, get a forearm, whack, a really strong forearm whack. Just a little forearm bump. Nothing illegal, nothing dirty, but I'm saying to him, I've got you, and I'm covering you with a strong bump that's legal, and you're not going around me, and, I'm, and you're going to feel it in a competitive, acceptable way. Not dirty, not illegal, but it's not a soft touch. It's a strong bump. Yes? If they, if they call it a... You want me to do it to you? Hey, I'm ready to go. If they call it a foul, okay, well, then you make an adjustment. It's nothing illegal, nothing too aggressive, nothing too dirty, but it's making a statement. You're getting nothing easy tonight. You're getting no easy cuts, and I'm, you're going to know I'm here. Who wants to think they can do that well? Oh, that's all I like. I thought you could. Let's see how it goes. Mate, it's smart, aggressive. It's not stupid, dumb. So should we do it here as well? That's what we're doing here. What do you want to do? Nothing illegal, nothing dirty. Just make him feel it. Ready? Go. Good. Excellent. Good. That's not, if they call out a foul, I already make an adjustment. But it shouldn't be a foul. It should be, hey, I got you tagged. I'm tagging you. Got you covered. Okay, same O, same D. Where were we before? Same O, same D. Who was here? You're, all right. Pass the ball. Go. Pass the ball. Go. Hit him. That was three out of ten. Turnover. Rubbish. I need eight out of ten. Forearm step. Forearm step. Reverse the ball, reverse the ball, pass, cut, hit him. Three out of ten, turnover, rubbish, go. That'd be nice. Hey, got to get seven out of ten, bump. Got to be at least seven. Talk, talk, pass, pass, go, cut, cut. Four out of ten, rubbish off. Ball reversal first, pass. Sprint, who's here? Pass, pass, sprint. Tag him. Good, rotate, rotate. Pass, 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 cut, pass, cut. Yeah, yeah. Good, change over. Hey, come in, come in. Hey, come in. What are we all focused on now? The bump. Where's our hand pressure? Where's our turn and sprint? Where's our talk? To be a good player, it's me to do four things at once. You young people, minds are like, you know, focus on Facebook, Twitter, Schmitter, whatever you want to call that rubbish. We got a big universal team defensive system where you're involved in as many ways as you can. We're building on hand pressure, ninja slides, turn and sprint, talking. We're just adding in the bumps. It's not everything. So we can get the bumps, the rest is rubbish, the whole thing's rubbish. You understand? Bring the juice, let's go. Hand pressure! Go, hit him! Got in front, turnover! Go! Where should you be? I'm not hugging him over there, you get over here. Ball's here. Ball's here. Who's got basket? Pass! 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 Hit him! Good, good, good! Pass! Pass, sprint, sprint! Pass, hit him, good. That's a foul. He's got a whack, pushy push. 
That's too easy, Nicole. Too easy. Okay. Hey, we've got to move on. We've got to move on. You can't make it so obvious, referee. Ref, call here. Foul. Here it comes. Whack. It's just a look at ref. I'm not doing nothing. There's a difference. Smart and not so smart. Get a quick drink. You guys are doing well. Chance? Uh, yeah. Can you get me a water? Would that be yeah, okay? Yeah, yeah, okay, okay? Thanks. We'll just fill that up, maybe. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Hey, let's go. Give me four and four here. Give me the ball here. Give me four and four. In your right hand. Stand here. Down in the stands. Stay there. Everyone else, come in. Stay where you are. We're doing a four and four now, what I call connection drill. We're going to Three disadvantage the wing guy. He's going to be at a disadvantage stance. He's going to take the ball and drive to the basket. So now you're going to work on where, how do we rotate on baseline penetration, which is one of the key messages I want to show you today on how to do it. So we're going to go slow and shell drill it through and go slow and go slow, then go live. Yes? So the first thing is, when he gets the ball, he's thinking dunk. Hey, I like that. That's what he was thinking. Jump on his head and then dunk it, maybe. All right? He's not thinking I'm running the drill. All right? Second thing is, he must, even though he's at a disadvantage, still bust his ass to get in front of him. Or push him behind the backboard. If he can't get in front, he's got to try and push him behind the backboard. He doesn't just give up and think, well, I'm, I'm done. That's what their job is. Yep. Give me the three players on the floor here. Now, can you guys hear me? Can you hear me? This is the most important guy. Why I said to you, he's got to stay basket. So when you take the ball, pretend you're bouncing it. Pretend. Stop. No, let, it, let him get past you a little bit. He sees you're being, being, being freeze. You're screaming out, help. He's got to now say, drop. And drop is to these two guys here. They're going to drop and replace him. It's a three-way turn and sprint. Remember at the start, we did the drop, turn and sprint? Yep. So you drop, turn and sprint to here. You drop, turn and sprint to there. And we open up. And you come to here. You come, come. Don't bounce it. You're here. And we trap the ball before. No, 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 no. You're covering three guys. Go out. These two cover three. In a real game, there's the third guy. In a real game. But in this drill, there's two on the trap and two splitting. Hands up. On the pass out, we're going to close out with the drill we just did. You might come to the close out. You'll scramble and go. Scramble and go. We're going to reverse the ball. Reverse the ball. Reverse the ball. Come to here. Stop and then reset it. Take the ball off. Reset to your spots. Give him the ball. Take the ball. Help. Help. Drop. Help. Turn and sprint. Turn and sprint. Come in. Come in. Hands. Trap. Pass. Close out. Sprint. Close out. Pass. Sprint. Close out. Pass. Sprint. Close out. And then reset and go again. So, it's help. Drop. Two players. Turn and sprint. Close out. Close out. Rotate, rotate. We're going to go slow, 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 and then rotate through in waves. We understand? Yes, no. Go slow first off. Go. Drop, drop. 
Pass. Sprint close out. Close out. Take the ball. Go. You must say drop. He has to say drop. You didn't say anything. Drop tells these two, cover the cover basket. I'm leaving basket. If he doesn't talk, the whole thing dies. Go again. You guys are going fast. He's going slow. Ready, go. Pass, close out, close out, close out. Reset, go. Go, close out, close out. Change over. O to D, D out. Who's here? Basket man. Where's my basket man? Go. You didn't say drop. Go again. You got to cover basket. He covers where you are. Turn and sprint. Drop. Help. Drop. Go. You didn't say anything. Rubbish. Turn over. Go. Hey, you got to switch on, son. We got to switch on here. Who's here? Basket. You're saying drop, yes? Go! Drop, drop, drop! You gotta turn and sprint, you gotta turn and sprint. You just drop down. Do it again. You gotta drop, turn and sprint. Drop, turn and sprint. Open up and up. You missed that. You guys were away. Ready? Good pass. Close out, close out. Rotate, 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 rotate. Reset. Drive to score. Drive, get into the key. If you're holding the ball. He's going to hold the ball for you. Go! Rotate! 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 Reset! 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 Go! You're not going with the ball. You're going to here. You're coming to here. You're covering the first pass. Wherever it goes, you're taking it. You're not going with the ball. They are. Yep. Go back. The, third, the drop guy's not going to the ball. He's covering the split, which is number three. Go! Rotate! 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 Reset! Reset! Go! Go! Change over! Go! If you don't say drop, it's turnover. Where should you be? You're covering him when he rotates out. Yep. Ready? Go! Rotate! 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 Reset! Go! Offense go faster! Offense go hard! Hey, drive to score! Drive to score! Go! Go! Okay, come in now. Hold that. Now we're going to go live. Now we're going to go live. Come back to here. Back to where it was. Give me the guys on the floor. Go right in the corner. Go right in the corner. Go right out wide. So now we're going to go live. This is where it's called the connection drill. If, if he bounces and you come, he gets in front, go back and drop off. Open up. So pushing below, pushing below the backboard, pushing below the backboard. You stay in there. You're coming on him. You're staying on him now. There's no right. There's rotate and go back. But now he's got to pass it. No need to double team. He's got him behind the backboard. We don't trap that. Go to pass to the corner guy. Steal it. Steal it. Steal it. Steal the pass. Yeah. Very good. So they're going to see whether you're smart enough to say, hey, he's got him covered. I don't got to rotate. We can go back to our man and steal the pass. Or if he's beat, you got to rotate. Now you've got to see it and play live. This is where the smarts come in. Yep. On the kick out, play live, do whatever you want. There's no reset the other side. Can you handle that? Let's see how these guys go. Two feet out to the three-point line here. Oh, 
Call the boat. Where's your man? Can you see him? You can. How can you see him? You're only watching him. So now you're going to do what you got to play life. Ready? Good. Play life. Play life. Whatever you want. Okay. He busted cut. Got in front of you. Turn over. Still going to stay in our rules. Rotate. How are we going for time? Are we okay? Sorry. <laughs> if you can get in front, like those guys, get back. You're gonna go from dunk it on his head, remember? Same scenario as before. You're gonna go, go, go! Rotate, rotate! Box! Box! Excellent! Outside, outside primitive shot! Beautiful! Rubbish offense! Are you, uh, you the best three point shooter in the club? You are. You said, he said yes, is he? Only yeah, good shot. All right, good shot. <laughs> That's the next Ryan Brockoff right here. Here we go. Hey. Whistle, what are you waiting for? Come, wait for the whistle. Hey, you're going to drive hard to score. Get your feet in the key. Don't make it easy for him. When he drives, you guys go somewhere. You go to the corner, you go somewhere. Play it live. Ready? Good, good. Rotate. What do you got? Who's here? Rotate. What do you got? Where's the ball? Hand pressure. Hand pressure. Hand pressure. Ten, nine, eight. Oh. Rock off number two. Hey, we found one. I call him Brock off two, this guy. Brock off one, where is he? Over here, Brock off two. Hold up, hold up. Come in, come in. Come in. When we go live, I want you to think about getting that shell back intact. Don't let any penetration in the key. If they pass, 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 and shoot a three over your hand, good luck. Brock off town, no problem. I'm happy with that shot. I don't want no one getting a post speed. I want no one getting two feet inside. Offense, try and up fake and get two feet inside. You get two feet inside, it's a point for you. Automatic point. Defense didn't rotate, defense didn't help. Off defense got five push-ups. So I want no key penetration. If that guy drives in the baseline and gets in the key, five push-ups. Bring the juice. Yep. You understand? Offense, shot fake, get in the key. Only exception. Hey, only exception if he pushes it behind the backboard in the key, that's okay. Only exception. Hey, dunk boy. If he drives behind the baseline, behind the backboard in the key, that's fine. Above the key, in the key, five push ups. Yes? Bring it. Hey, get off the court. Get off, get off, get off. Rubbish. Next five. Straight through, layer. What's going on? Holy cow! Next five. Zero defense. Zero. Go. Good, good. Good. Talk, talk, talk. That's all right. Box, box, box. Fantastic. You only had one foot in the key. You only had one. Didn't have two. Hey, rock off. Hey. Rock off number two. Hey. I'm talking, son. Listen. What was I saying here? You yeah, don't know. No more Brock off for you. Ryan Brock off listened to what I said. I knew the boy. Great kid. He listened. The guy here had one feet in the key, not two. He came and stopped, made him pass. Great job. Ball's there. Ready? Good, good, good. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Box. Two push-ups. Got in the key. No, half the defense. What are the offense? Get push-ups for you. Next. 
Hey, you had him traps. You had him traps. Can't let him push through the gap. Stance. Hey, where's your man? Rock off one. Well, open up and see him. No cheating here. Go! Rotate! Rotate! Rubbish offense! Great defense! Who was that shooting that? Is that you? Are you a great three point shooter? Are you a great three point shooter? Well, it means you don't shoot that. It's got to go in. Offense! It's got to go in before it goes out unless you get a license to shoot. Rock off rule. Unless you are Brock off, which is no one Brock off here, so there's no Brock off rules. It must get in the key. Either from a post feed, then out, or a penetration kick. Hey, you want to talk when I'm talking, you need to go and sit down and leave. He was doing that before. I ain't going to do it twice. I've got five minutes left. So, you can't shoot a perimeter unless the ball gets in the key. Either on a post feed, kick out, kick or a drive pitch. Otherwise, I want something in the key. Yes? Ready? Rotate. Chain sides, ball's here. Stance, where should you be? Stance, vision, talk. Talk, what are you saying? Ready, go! Ball pressure! Help, help! Good! Help! Great, 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 great! Close out, blow by! No second rotation. Hey, come in. Davis, come in. Great, 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 great. Blow by rotation, no rotation. It's just hard to do. It's hard to do. That was a second drop and a second rotation. We kind of had it once in a kick out. It was super good. We needed a third effort. You're getting there and you're working towards it. I'm really pleased. We've got two, three more, four minutes left. Keep bringing the juice. Any questions? Hey, any questions on this? Anyone confused? Anyone not sure? We're good? Try and get someone posting up maybe in offense. See if you can get a post target. Defensively, either full front, either full front or play high side denial. Don't play behind on the post players. Yes? Ready? Who stopped basket? Come back here. Get the ball here. Show me where you were in the catch. Defense. Get the ball here. Where, who was on the floor? On the floor, come in. What do we have here? Is it same for same or is it mismatch? So what should you do with a mismatch? Well, double teaming. You go now, you got the same as the penetration. You got to trap him because he can't play in one-on-one. -on -one. Now we're in drops here. We're now in drops. Make him pass it out. He can't play in one-on-one. -on -one. It's the same thing. Yes? Rotate. Ready? Who's got basket? No. <laughs> me, 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 me. Go. Hands. Hand pressure. Hand pressure. Hand pressure. Talk. Hand pressure. Hand pressure. Go back. You weren't here for the first part. Go back. What do we have when we have this? Let's get in the stance. What do we have when we have this? What do we have? No, no, no. What do we have? Zero defense. You missed the important part. <laughs> so now I can go. Whoop, 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 whoop. You got to have a hand above the ball. Making you feel uncomfortable. No, 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 no. Making you feel uncomfortable. Yes. That's what I was saying before. But you weren't quite listening too well. Either full front or high side denial. Ask before. That's a good question now. 
Don't, in other words, don't let him catch it. Make it hard as you can. Who's on defense here? Get around him. Get around him. Who's got basket? Wait. Right. Hand pressure. Where's the ball? Where's the ball? Hands. Travel. Turn over. Four step. LeBron moves. Rubbish. Hey, bring it in. Hey, bring it in. Come here. I uh, firstly I want to thank Scott for, for asking me down. Uh, anything to do with Scott and the coaches he's working with means you're in a very good program. So always respect the coaches and respect what coach is bringing, what Scott is bringing to the club. First thing I'm really, really impressed with is with your willingness to listen and try. And I've done a lot of these, these sort of mini clinics or, or sessions with kids and you have half the group who are just talking, not paying attention, not really switched on. Out of today, I want to take away a couple of key thoughts. One, the idea of me having some pressure on the ball or there's zero defense. Two, the idea of turning and sprinting. Three, the idea of having some pride and responsibility of keeping the ball in front of you at all costs. Four, if it does break down, you've got some idea of how to connect with the other guys to get your integrity back in a preset rotational plan. It's not scramble defense. It's here's our post rules defense. Here's our penetration defense as part of a package and a plan of defense on how we're going to play them. Does that make sense? The only thing we didn't do too well today, didn't really focus on, was finishing the play, which is a box out and a rebound. We're kind of all standing around, but we can't do everything today. Hope you learned something out. Hope you enjoyed it. I uh, hope you can take away one small thing. It might be Ninja. I mean, what's that? Never heard that before. If there's one takeaway, take one thing away. Hopefully it's got something to do with the hand pressure. Any questions about anything I've shown you today? To have a little bit of fun along the way. What did you learn today that you might take away with you? Dunking? Like bump thing. Bumping. Okay. Now it means you're not going to be a solid defender. Now they're going to feel that bump. If you can do that, except when you play Tigers, you've got to play soft defense as well. No, no bumping when you play Tigers players, all right? I, I coach the Tigers. I'm an assistant director of coaching. It's a joke. Just relax. Anyway. Thanks for listening today, boys. Hopefully there's the next one. Rock off out, 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 of, out, out amongst you guys. That's not the main message. The main message is you're your basketball with a great club, with great coaches, and it's a team game. Find your way to help your team play better. Thanks very much for listening, boys. Thanks for your time today. Thank you. Nice working with you. Good job. Nice job. Nice job. Thank you. Nice job. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's very rare that we get this opportunity, so make the most of it. And yeah, let's put it together for David. Thank you very much. Thanks, boys. Enjoy the rest of your session. Nice job. Nice to meet you. Thanks, buddy.